So I'm up here at Warner Valley. I'm going to put on the second spring. Once again, this little spring hook has to go over the top of the cable each time. These barrel-shaped telescoping springs install easier than a regular non-barrel shaped spring, basically a cylinder type. type. So you're going to continue to rotate this around. Do you notice with this type of spring, if you put springs on, this one gets really easy when it gets midway through where the other ones get really tight. So we have new spring spacers that we're going to show you how they work. I'll also do a model of it. So if you want to zoom in here, what we have... Make sure that the little tab here, this is kind of just a little extrusion that's out there. And then you're going to want to hook that spring into that little slot. You can see right here, you can see the end of the spring. Uh, let me see if I can move it out. You can see it move a little bit. But yeah, you're just going to want to do that. Put that together. Then you're going to take and do the same for the other spring. You're going to um, bring up the spring hook and you're going to hook the slot in there. Once again, you can see it uh, right there. That's the end of the spring hook. So then you're just going to slide these two together. One person can do this, but it's okay to, you know, to have a couple people that, you know, put it together. But usually one person can put these together just fine. And you're just going to sandwich these together just like that. Then you're going to tighten your screws. So we'll keep that tight. And torque's 20 bit. We'll send it with you. Then you're going to drive your screws in all the way. Four screws total hold this spring picture together. Pretty simple. Simple, easy to maintain zipline braking system. Screws are all in tight. If they start backing out, you'll notice them. That's part of your inspection process. You're going to want to inspect these springs every day. You're going to want to make sure that all the screws are there. It's part of the standards. This is kind of a life safety system. You want this spring system to work continuously every day, and they have done for decades. Park City Mountain Resort, we put springs on there. But they're easy to maintain, easy to inspect. You just rotate them around, look for deformities. Uh, once a year, do a dye penetrant test, and I'll do a uh, display on that in the future, but yeah, simple, easy zipline braking solutions. Uh, you can find us at zipsafer.com, uh, ziplinebrakingsolutions.com, or zipsafe.org. Thank you. Now you've got some screws. You got screws that go in here and here. Not put your spring together. Keep that in mind when you inspect springs. You just, you just spin them around. You're looking for cracks. There is dye penetrant you can use on them. And the dye penetrant, you can spray it on them and wipe them off. I would suggest doing that once a year. Spray the dye penetrant on. You might have to be trained to do that. Then you wipe it all off. Spray a white uh, powder that brings the dye out. And you'll see surface cracks. These springs are designed to last a million cycles. So my manufacturer tells me they're stainless steel. These ones are steel. Just testing a few other ones. We recommend four years, 200,000 cycles. Nice thing about this type of spring is when it collapses, the center closes. So you have two places that are closing. Instead of just bumping at one end and pushing that spring closed, you actually have the dynamics of two moving together, which makes this spring last longer. Richardson safety trolleys and barrel shaped spring systems are all sold at ziplinebreakingsolutions.com, zipsafer.com.